Ooh. It worked, okay. <laughs> Chapter 5, Dread. Six hours until dawn. We finally got one. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Sorry, just finished yesterday's episode. <laughs> so I'm just gonna... That's not good. Kind of going on a roll yeah, here. That's really not good. Oh, a dog! Damn it. For wolves! I love it. Both! I was convinced when I was a child that I was a wolf. Really? I was convinced for years. I'm surprised my parents didn't <laughs> call a psychologist. <laughs> okay, Michael. Whoa. Can we find all the totems now? Please, 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 please. <laughs> Look at him run. <laughs> I think this is a pretty long chapter. Because the last one was pretty short. What's over this way? I need to know. This is very, very important. Okay, there was nothing important there. Sad. Ask me what that was. <laughs> Ooh! There's something here. Totem? Yes, it is! One more hunger totems because those are really interesting. Oh, this is a danger! Okay, it's down. Ooh. That must be Sam, right? Because she's told us a couple of episodes ago that she's taking a bath. That's a towel. And it, oh, and we have one. It's a guidance totem. I think this one. No. This one. No. This Fuck. one. Yeah, that's Sam. In the same towel. And look at Not that. We just saw some dogs, wolves, kind of stuff here. This may be important. Okay, but we got a danger of Sam in the towel. Let's hope she doesn't flash us. <laughs> what is the clock? Nine o'clock, okay. Ooh. Mm -hmm. awesome. Condemned. Why wouldn't I end up in the creepiest place on planet Earth? It is deemed unlawful for any person to use or occupy this structure forthwith. Date June 12, 1954. Okay. It's okay. I know this door is locked. Oh shit! Okay, don't go! Don't go inside! Fuck you! Kidding me. <laughs> Please, Mike, stop going on your hunt. We need to go outside again. <laughs> Look at the doggies. I think the black one was limping. Oh, I thought I knew this game, but apparently not. Okay, we can still what go outside. Here? This is nuts. Uh, that's you. Don't ask me what that means. I have no idea. You're going outside so we can check it more out. Oh, let's not go down there yet. 
We didn't go over here. We could walk a little faster, Mike. <laughs> Maybe I should explore it upstairs Ooh. more. <laughs> because now we're trapped down here. <laughs> I make the worst decisions ever. What's over here? This way I haven't missed the totem. just yeah we came from there is there anything else here no I don't think there's really anything anymore so let's go up it's been nice having long legs oh my god what happened to your bicep it's so bumpy <laughs> bumpy <laughs> oh. Yeah, we came from there. Hmm. Window. What is over here then? I'm up here. I'm oh, fine. I'm gonna drink some coke. Mmm. -hmm. Really, I hope that you didn't really hear that. <laughs> Swallowing and stuff, oh. I hate what sounds myself. That's different. Okay, we're back up! We're back up! <laughs> I did not expect the door to be open, though. <laughs> it wasn't in the original. That's why I was so confident. <laughs> Are you gonna go over again? No, okay. Oh my god. Imagine watching the same cutscene again because we took a different route in. Look at that. Blackwood Pine Sanatorium opened in 1922. Mansana in Kotpodem Sanu. Cool. We should know other languages. But I'm not good at that. I can learn gramma grammatically correct really fast, but I can't remember it <laughs> after a week. Which is why I have a really weird way to talk. Yeah, to pronounce and everything. I'm sorry about that. That's my Norwegian accent. We're either really bad or really good. I'm somewhere in between. Oh. But more you on the back. Wanted to take a peek inside. Mm. Oh, don't be loud, don't be loud, don't be loud. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> clocking in cards. A batch of 30 clocking in cards from the from the mine locked away in a safe. This means there were 30 miners trapped in a mine. What? Shit, look at this. So they are hidden to cover it up, or? Huh. Okay. Again, interesting. Ooh, I saw something. Camera? Yeah! Ooh, broken camera. The lens of this camera is smashed. It looks like someone did this on purpose. Ooh. Oh, butterfly effect! Butterfly effect! What is it? And which one will die? Oh, yeah. Chris said that he would save Ashley. 
Yeah, Josh died last episode. <laughs> he has a Chris and a Psycho. Okay, let's go this way. Morgue. <laughs> okay. That wasn't scary at all. This is now a yeah, outlast around roaming people in here. I hope. <laughs> I don't know what I've changed <laughs> over the years. To my darling Jefferson, we have all the time in the world. I don't think so. Oh, you, you took it? Why did you take it? That's weird. Whoa! Whoa! Antichrist here! <laughs> I don't really care. Hmm. Yeah, this is how. Ooh! Intrigue on Blackwood Mountain. Excuse me. Oh, updated. This must be the camera mentioned in the newspaper article. Someone really didn't didn't want these pictures getting out. What? Uh, a newspaper dated 1952 with a story about a reporter being banned from uh, visiting a group of rescued miners. The reporter had his camera confiscated. Oh, that's what he meant. What the clue meant, I guess. I guess. The Alberta Post, the 9th, 9th of January. 1952. Reporter assaulted on Blackwood Mountain. Blackwood Pines. <laughs> a B. A reporter um, yeah, from the Alberta Bugle was assaulted and hospitalized yesterday by security personnel at the Blackwood uh, Sanatorium. Chuck Bernstein, a senior news reporter, was seeking an interview with the miners dram uh, dramatically rescued uh, on Tuesday. The men have been trapped underground for over three weeks after a structural dam uh, collapsed at the Northwest Mine in December and are now being treated at Blackwood Sanatorium for mal malnutrition and trauma. Jefferson Bragg, solo proprietor of both uh, the Northwest Mining Company and the Blackwood Sanatorium, told Bugle yesterday that the incident was unfortunate and that a full internal inquiry had been launched. He also claimed that Bernstein had been trespassing on sanatorium grounds without permission. It is believed that the assault arose from an argument about Bernstein's camera, which was confiscated immediately prior to the attack. Ooh. Interesting. There are a lot of lore and story in this game. You have to get a credit, right? Where am I? Oh, I'm here! So I came from there. Let's go. Whoa. That was scary. And that was lag. Are there bats here? Ooh, medical notes. Huh. Minor medical report. Attending physician, Dr. and Dr. M. H. F. Bowen. A medical report. Report follow, uh, follows uh, RE. The initial state uh, of the 12 miners after the collapse of the mine and subsequent rescue at Blackwood Pines. Admittance on receipt uh, of the 12 patients uh, at the sanatorium's medical facility, we had uh, fully expected to find the uh, emaciated shells of men, starved and confused. Thankfully, the miners appear uh, cogent and relatively healthy attributed to their apparent uh, discovery of emergency food supplies in a mine. Inhibited respiratory function has detected in a few of the older men, as predicted, as well as symptoms of uh, pneumonia. Psychologically, after being trapped for 23 days, the shock of reintegration has been uh, difficult for some of the group. Though their outward health is better than expected, they do seem uh, affected by their time in the mine. Treatment. Due to the delicate nature of some of the patients, we have closed off uh, the A wing uh, of the sanatorium. Psychological evaluations will take place as soon as possible. The men with uh, respiratory problems uh, have undergone a uh, bronchoscopy and are prescribed a course of uh, streptomycin. The others are simply kept uh, under strict 24 hours uh, uh, observation. Signed, Dr. Nicholas Henry Fallis, 
bones. Ooh, one of those guys actually tried to bite me. I'm going to report it to Dr. Bowen. Ooh. Okay, let's look at that clue. Updated. The report mentions 12 miners, but there were 30 clocking in cards received uh, from the mine. There is no indication of what happened to the other 18 miners. Miners rescued from the mine were healthier than expected, although some had exhibited reintegration problems. That story is really interesting. I can't go in there? Okay. Oh yay! Basements! I love basements! I hate even my basement. Ugh. Oh. oh my god. Please, let there be no spiders. Okay, I'm gonna show you something you shouldn't do in this game. This I remember vividly. Huh? What eventually happens. Not right now, but I'll, I'll. You'll see. Oh shit. Gross. I'm a shitty! <laughs> Woo! Look at that. Now we're ready. Ooh, what's over here? Um, Shit. restraining chair. A chair with leather straps there to restrain the patient. There's blood on it. It looks like it was used as part of a weird experiment. What? What happened here? Okay, that's not crazy at all. Okay, there's nothing else in here. Let's go watch something else. <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. Oh, is that a totem? Yes, it is. <gasps> a death. It's a death. Or, or is it yellow? It's yellow. Okay, it's down. Ah, oh, there it is. What? Guidance totem. Is Chris shooting himself? Huh. Oh, look! I've been really good at the guidance, though. Wow! I found almost all of them. I only missed one. <laughs> Ooh. How many days will they keep us here? Uh, th this is... What could... Who? <laughs> the hell... You all right, Mike? <laughs> uh, my boy Seth is hurting for some reason. Ew. Ah, I'm hungry. Oh, doggy! Let's go this way. I know they're not on my side. Yet. I will win them over. What's here? This place just gets better and better. Ew, rats. Huh? What is that glint? Hmm. What is that sound? Let's go in here. It did help in uh, turning off the brightness, right? Reply immediately. Reporters and other snoopers uh, are to be kept away at all costs. <gasps> Telegram about miners. Hey, who wouldn't want press snooping around this paradise? 
Western Province uh, Telecommunications co uh, Company Telegram. Uh, a lot of letters, Dr. Richard Castle, Blackwood Sanatorium, to Mr. J. Bragg. Incident update. 12 survivors received at sanatorium. Showing signs of mental trauma may need to contain. Local press now have scent of blood. Becoming a problem. Please advise further. And that advice was... Keep them away. Interesting. Let's see what it says. A telegram warning about press interest in survivors who brought to the sanatorium. The mine owners uh, were trying to cover something up. Let's go in here. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> That's soon. Okay, and nothing worthwhile here. I think it's just to say that there's a clue back there, but we've already got it. Yeah, this thing! Do not touch it! Do not touch it, you'll, you'll lose fingers! Get on a shingle. Sh the shingle. Fucking hell. Yeah, look. I really want to touch it, but I'm not going to. I don't think it's gonna give us a clue anyway. No, it won't give us a, give us a clue. I don't think so. It's not worth losing fingers over. I'm gonna ignore it. What's this? What's up, a head? Huh? Hanging out? Dude. Strange skull. A disfigured human head suspended in a uh, formaldehyde. Oh, this is updated. According to the telegram, the owners were trying to cover this up. Yeah, the danger areas and the collapse. Probably. That head looks nice. Let's go in. Open. This, 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 um, excuse me, thank you. Nothing. Mm. Oh, except for this. Emergency me medical tag. Name Nicholas Bowen. Whoa, 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 Bowen? That's that's the doctor. Tag date February twenty fourth, nineteen fifty two. Description: Attacked by inmate. Fatal lacerations to throat. Wow! So the doctor got killed. A mortuary ga tag gag. <laughs> the name on it reads Nicholas Bowen. in here then. Ooh, a note. Ooh, death certificate. The name of the deceased, Sarah Smith. Date, date of death, February 24th, 1952. Huh. Okay, this is weird. Are those dates? Hereby certify that I attended the deceased from March 8th um, in 1951 to February 24th, 1952, and last saw alive on February 24th, 1952. Cause of death, severe lacerations to abdomen, intra-abdominal injuries, subsequent, and subsequent blood loss. If death was due to external causes, violence, it would fill in as the following. Accident, suicide, or homicide. Homicide... Manner of in injury, laceration by sharp implement, possibly fingernail. The, the what? Additional notes: Please use uh, the box uh, provided overly uh, from for any additional re 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 relevant information. Signed by N. Bowen, M.D. 
Address Blackfold Sanatorium, date February 24th, 1952. Ooh, additional notes. Body was not discovered until six to eight hours after death. Sections of the intestine and kidneys were apparently eaten by the attacker. Cannibalism. I'm losing my voice. Oh, a body. Sick. I need to have pictures of that. Card. All horror games must have key cards. That's apparently a rule. Like in horror movies and having in dead animals. That's the thing I didn't want to open. <laughs> because really, you will lose your fingers. Shuffle security pass required. Well, you have it. Okay, there's nothing on the ground. No, okay. I like that he's completely forgotten about Jessica now. It's like he doesn't care. <laughs> Anything here? No. <laughs> okay, run! <laughs> <laughs> the way he said it was funny. Okay, we got something here. A hastily written death certificate dated 24th of February 1952. It describes the body of a part as partially eaten. Yep. Ex ex I'm sorry. Um. Here. At what price? Mike got to the morgue. Mike still has a usable machete. Ah. Yeah, because. What happens there is he will uh, grab the tag on that hand and when it uh, moves uh, there is a bear trap in it that catches uh, two of his fingers. As you can see um, he has a bandage on his uh, arm there that showcases that. And there's two ways to get, get free. You either cut off your fingers or you use machete to open the bear trap but you lose the machete. So the best thing you can do is not do anything. Don't touch it. Because it won't give you anything other than, well, some butterfly effect here. That's just my experience from my first time. Playing the game. So yeah, uh, let's continue. Ooh, what's here? I can't open the door. I probably came from there. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> Isn't this a quaint little psycho crib? Okay. Yeah, I guess we'll jump down here. <laughs> We're great friends with Mike today, uh, huh? Right. Back in here. I can remember this section's really good because it's so freaking long. <laughs> it never ends, <laughs> it feels like. <laughs> Sorry. Now 
Bruce's best friend. Easy. That's a good one. You got it. <laughs> what was that? Look. Remember, yeah, remember what I told you? Totems, it showed Mike petting a wolf dog creature. Oh. And so, do not kick it. Cigar box. A wooden cigar box. Only a single cigar left. It has a distinctive brand la label. Okay. So, the sucker likes smoking. What's here? Oh! A bow! Maybe this will keep the wolves fat and happy. Ah, my ear again. I'm so sorry. Ugh. It's really itchy today. Probably because I had AirPods in it all day. Just to keep noises out. Hi there! Oops, that is update. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <gasps> Easy, boy. Yeah. Easy. That's so good, boy. Oh, oh did I? I I got it. Yes. <laughs> that's a good picture. Oh, that was so cute. We got a butterfly effect. Man's best friend. It's a big butterfly. Mike didn't kick the dog. Mike made a friend! Oh, look at that! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, that's so adorable. Um, ooh, the label is the same as the cigar box found in the sanatorium. The stuff we found earlier in the mine. Oh, that's a so cute. I'll do everything to just have a dog. So. <laughs> What have we here? What's that? <laughs> um, you're not Elastic Girl. Some self defense here. Anything over here? I know the way forward is over there. Anything? Nothing there. There's nothing more there. There's something there. What is it? A map? Oh, what? Freak. Clipping wall! A map of the mountain with sightings and recent discover disappearances marked with dates. It looks like the work of an obsessive mind. Local mound found dead liars. Huh. Footprints found. One animal killed by unknown. Bigfoot sighted in. <laughs> 14 missing in mountain. Anything else? No. Oh, there's a bed. Okay. Let's continue. Anything back here? No. No. Nothing. There was there something on the ground? No, it just looks okay. I think I remember there is like something back here, maybe a totem. 
I hope so. I always hope for totems. Ah! Not a totem, but a picture. The Miracle Man. The successful rescue of old twelve miners trapped in the disaster of 5th of January, 1952. That's what it was. No, no, okay. Wait. It's the next one, right next to it. Um, a framed photo of the group of miners rescued after a cave-in dated 1952. The plaque says uh, and that all 12 miners survived. There were, update, there were tw uh, 30 uh, clocking in cards from the mine. Yeah. The photograph only showed the 12 survivors. So they, did they? Did they pretend that there were only 12 people that were trapped, and then all of them survived? Was Is that the thing here? Seems like it. Whoa, what, what, what are you doing? You made me lose control there, Mike. Okay, down here. Listen, I like Mike, but... Oh, I'm sick of this place! <laughs> Can we change location, please? And I like learning about the miners and stuff. But... I want some other characters and stuff, too. Okay, there's nothing here except for this hallway we have to go through. Oh, what's that? Of course, locked. Psycho. What the? We're Matt. Hey, it's locked. The hell who did that? Then there's some seriously uncool shit going on up here tonight. She doesn't care. <laughs> I can't believe Josh is dead. I can't believe how he died. No, I, I mean, what if they were wrong? What? Maybe we should have checked the shed to see if it was really true. I, I don't know. There are some things that once you see them, you can never unsee them. Yeah, I guess, but some things you have to see for yourself. I'll take their word for it. <laughs> They're different, but I understand both points there. Paint? It's still fresh. Oh my god, my freaking ear! Oh, oh my god. Again, sorry about that, but... Oof! Can't control it. Oh! There is something here! Hunger totem, please? Or is this... Whoa, it's a danger totem! It's scorpion. Emily. So that's them. Jesus. That's a danger. We've seen a couple of them now. Oh, I missed another one. Why do we miss everything? <laughs> but there is a loss, is that it? No, that's the Jessica one. No, that's the Emily one. A 
Or snug? No. 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 Wait, is it this? Oh, that's Matt! What? What? I cannot remember seeing that. Stereo seemed to die by falling. Here, someone die from hanging and blood, and I don't know. Jesus! Here are they? That must be them because they are together. And that's clearly Emily. You can hear the voice. Yeah, and here's Matt. And here he survives fortune. Here's a fortune for Matt. And he's the danger one. We've seen one where he dies. There are a lot of things here. And this is not one of those. <laughs> I like piecing together, okay? Piecing together to get clues. Not because I know what's gonna happen. <laughs> Definitely not. But hey, like I, I've said earlier, just because I played the original a couple of times and I know the story pretty much everything, they have changed a lot in this game already. I have no idea. If some choices I do Look, will actually fuck an axe. I feel better with an axe. That's why I'm so excited about this game. Oh, the axe! Um, an axe stuck in, uh, stuck into the door of the cable car station. It definitely wasn't there before. Yeah, and that reminds me. Matt and Emily found the axe down at the cable car station. There was a missing axe by the lodge. What now? This is locked, Matt. Don't break the door down, will ya? Whoa, wait a second. If we start smashing shit down, he's gonna hear us. Well, you got any better suggestions? I don't know. What about... Look! What? A window. <laughs> That's great, Matt. I can just about fit my lip prom through that little slot. Oh, come <laughs> on. You will never fit through there, big guy. He already knows where we are. His camera's open everywhere. You Fine. saw that. Here goes. I'm gonna huff, and I'm gonna... Shh, just do it! <laughs> Your whining doesn't help, okay? So sorry, I'm just need to check in here. Okay. Ooh, oh. die. Damn. I'm not ready. What happened? This is crazy. We were here just a few hours ago. This must have just happened. What the fuck? We did find great things. It's gotta be the guy, the the one who who got to Chris and Ash and Josh. He's gotta know this is the only way back. I don't say that. Look, the cable car's all the way out there. Well, that's... I, I mean, that's not far, right? You you can jump it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm good, Em. But not that good. Flattered, though. Well, Matt, <laughs> if you can't jump that, what are we gonna do? I... I don't know. God, everything is, like, so busted up. I wow, think they what knew exactly that? what Nothing. they were doing. My, Matt, Matt, your name is Matt. Nothing. Yeah. Great. No keys, no cable car. So, back to square one. Matt, we, we need another plan. We can't just sit around and do nothing. Hmm, okay, um... Someone really did a number on this joint. Such a mess. Very friendly. Unfollow. Ugh, don't say that. <laughs> Happy now? <laughs> Ooh. Hey, look! Fire tower. Huh. 
Maybe that old fire tower will have like a, a radio or a phone or, or something. It might. Well, it's not like we have any other options. Probably, yeah. Matt, we gotta get to that radio! Yeah. We can use the radio to call for help. But somebody's gotta pick up the signal. Ooh, butterfly effect. Wow, Matt. On the same call. page. Radio, so smart. Why are you being so bitchy? <laughs> We're in a serious situation well, here. Well, Matt, easy. I think it's just her way to cope with the stress, honestly, you know? Was it? Hey, he's more brave, but she didn't care. <laughs> What's here? On the same page. Matt supported Emily's plan to go to the tower and get help. Okay, um... Let's go! You can do it, Matt! You can do oh, it, Emily! <laughs> What's cooking? Good looking? Getting us out of here, Mr. Meat for Brains! This looks sketchy at all. Look at this bad boy. You're coming with me, buddy. I have found the flashlight. Like magic. Come on down. We can totally get out here this way. Okay. Ooh! <laughs> I'm happy I got the right one. should go first to protect me <sighs> okay okay easy now okay all right oh my gosh okay. almost almost i'm feeling kind of faint don't look down emily Whoa. okay okay amy amy who's amy <laughs> emily are you okay <laughs> Holy cannoli, thank God that's over. Yeah, for real. Let's walk up here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Something here, something here, something, something, something here. No. What's this? <laughs> What's over here then? Is that a totem? Yes! Oh, that's the last one of the guidance. This. It's not a Sebra. There. Okay. That's Mike blocking the way. That's something we did in the Outlast. So that's blocking the door. Oh, we got all the guidance ones. I'm happy. Okay, let's get going. I don't have much time left today to play. And I want to finish work. this chapter. What? The radio. It'll work. But if it doesn't, we need a plan. Okay. We, what kind of plan? We can just climb down. Climb down what? The mountain. Are you serious? <laughs> What's the big deal? It, it's not like it's floating in the sky. <laughs> It might as well be. It's pitch black out. Hey, yeah. hopefully we won't have to. You think the psychopath is just gonna give up and run away? No. But maybe we should find a safe spot. Hold up. Wait it out. It'll be a lot easier to figure this all out in the morning. As long as we don't hide in the lodge, that's where he expects us to go. Listen to her. She's actually really smart. <laughs> A little whiny and bitchy, but she is smart. There is another option. You should did mention that earlier that she is actually happen. smart. And I think that place is pretty. In her amazing. argument they with Jess. They wouldn't have built a place like that on a mountain without some emergency contact to the outside world. Yeah, I mean you might be right, but I have no desire to go sneaking around in that place. Let's put it in the maybe column. <laughs>
That's Beth's phone. Beth never went anywhere without her cell phone. She must have passed this way on the night of their disappearance. Whoa, this is Beth's phone. I thought the police, like, swept the whole area. Well, it looks like they missed this. Can we go more this way? Because she really wants to go that way. No, there's nothing more here. Okay, um, can you- Matt? Matt? Thank you. Whoa, what's happened to the frame rate now? Whoa. Nothing here? No, no, there's nothing more here. Let's begin to share now! <laughs> Okay. No more totems. Watch where you step around here, Em. Sange quest. Matt, given the choice, I prefer not to spend my evening plummeting to my death off a snowy cliff top. Ooh, elk! <laughs> Matt, what is that? That's where Hannah and Beth died. That cliff. Okay, I have to go now. <laughs> That's the end of that chapter. I spread my heart at least. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you like this video. It's really picking up the pace now. So yeah, if you did like it, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.